So what is it that you're finding here? Cancer and reproductive harm. Oh, that's what we needed. <laughs> Welcome back to the Monday Mail Call. I'm your host, the Duck Man, and this is... Bay McQueen! That's right! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> That's time of year again. Yeah. <laughs> it's Christmas Prezi time, and we have got a large amount of mail that has shown up. This is stuff that has mostly come for Bees Carmen Gia. Yes, yes, Christmas gift time. A few other things have arrived. Looks like I might even have a, a thing or two over here. And if, of course, you'd like to send something and you want to feature it in the video, check out duckshit.net for the mailing address. You can find it there. And if you'd like to communicate with me directly, email me at duckmancycles at duckshit.net or visit my website, duckshit.net, and hit the contact link. There it is. All right, what would you like to open up first today? We'll open something we'll open up for that you. One. Oh, for me! This is for the duck oh! man. <laughs> Didn't even need a knife for it. Look at that. Nope. I don't know what we're expecting in this one. This was a surprise. Oh, see a... oh, I know what it is. I see it already. I was actually gonna buy one and now he doesn't have to. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. The good old Mike podcast. If you guys didn't get to see it already, quit blocking yourself with it. Let's see you with it there. Make it like you're wearing it. There it is. Now it looks better. See? You never let a Big chested women borrow one of your t-shirts because they'll give it back to you stretched out. So word of advice for you men out there that are dating. <laughs> if you didn't get to see me on a Good Old Mike podcast, you probably want to. Head over to Good Old Mike's channel. I think he uploaded that one about two, three weeks ago. And uh, it was a lot of fun. He interviewed me, talked about the uh, projects that I've got coming up and a lot about my YouTube and some of the new things that I'm working on, which we're not going to talk about here in this video. You're just going to have to stay tuned. But uh, yeah, there it is, goodoldmike.com. Hit up his website, and if you'd like to buy some of his merch, you'll find it there just the same. Woo! <laughs> All right, Mike, I appreciate that. This is gonna go in the next batch of laundry, and I'm gonna start wearing it this week. I don't look as cute when I wear it like that. Yeah, I think I have, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Am I That's sexy better. now? Yeah. Does it work? Would you f you? Twice. There you go. All right. That's all you need. It's not cave, it's yourself. True. Then it's just my. <laughs> Parrot perforation. Yep, what you got? Parrot this the... is for you. For me? From Four Lifetime Lines. It might be addressed to me, but I think it might be for you. Let's see. Whoops. Not for you. Oh. That's what I really want for Christmas. What we got? Bolts. Oh, those are your um, flare nuts for flare your nuts. brakes on the Carmen Ghia. Not very exciting to open that up first, but those are the flare nuts. That's what's going to go on the end of your brake lines. Uh, of course, we're making our own brake lines because I have all the tools to do it. So we're going to save a ton of money because we just buy the raw materials and actually conform. It's not too long at all. You're going to mess your teeth up. <laughs> I'm not biting down on them. We'll it. actually form the brake. Why did I say conform? We're actually going to form the brake lines using the tools that I have and actually produce the bubble flares on the end of them. And we can make the lines any length we want. We can make them out of any materials that we want, just the same. And yeah, I know you can go out and just buy some stainless steel lines, but we can do it for about a third of the price. Mm -hmm. So that's what we got. We got. And it looks like my nuts have disappeared into the abyss. They're my nuts. Oh, <laughs> that's what happens when you hang out with a woman long enough. <laughs> Pick what you like next. We got more and bigger boxes too coming up, by the way. This is just the beginning of it. Oh, there's several things in here. Okay. Braided brake lines. Woo! Stainless steel braided brake lines. Check it out. Keep the invoice. All right. Yeah, put that aside. We're going to save that stuff because that's going to go on taxes this year. Check that out. And brake light switches. Brake light switches. You're going to need those. That's for damn sure. Yep. Three prongs. I've only got one. Put these into here so they don't get lost. Okay. And you might want to drop your nuts in there too. There you go, now it's a nut bag. <laughs> a nut sack. And over there. What else would you like to open next? You gonna open up one of those? I'll put this out of the way for you. That one was busted open already when it came, thanks to the uh, wonderful post office. That is stainless steel brake line. There it is. This is... <laughs> you probably couldn't see This that. is what we're going to be actually uh, Oh, wow. Oh, she's, she's a window licker. Yeah. That's why you hang out with me. Nobody else in their right mind would hang out with me. <laughs> I mean, this is true. <laughs> well, please, Licky, Likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to pluck that dingle belly 
That way you get updates every time I upload a video. Check out DuckShit.net for all of our different social media links. You can find B's stuff there, as well as my stuff there. And uh, <laughs> as always, we'll be back right after the intro. All right, and we're back. If you haven't noticed already, there's a big old CIP1 logo on these boxes. That's because Gregory the Bus is sponsored by CIP1. So we decided since they're so wonderful that we want to do Bee's Carmen Gear with all parts coming from CIP1 just the same. So bust open this one here and let's see what we got. We got a knife. Kniffy. Kofifi. <laughs> figure out where the... Woo! Oh, look at this. Hubcaps! Look at this. Hubcaps! Look at this. Four of them. Four hubcaps, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what else could hubcaps double as? They're roughly the right size. Oh, I knew you'd figure it out. <laughs> I've done that before already. I can make a Volkswagen bra. A Volkswagen bra sponsored by CIP1. How about that? Think we got these? Mm -hmm. In addition, I've got some big logo ones inside, so you can see which ones you like more. Okay. And you get to use those. And uh, more nuts. Those are, if I'm not mistaken... No. Yes, this is the um, Master Cylinder Install Kit. Ooh. This is what we talked about. These are the little spacers that people always manage to lose because right. when they take those bolts out, the spacers fall down inside the Napoleon's hat and then people put it back together without it, not realizing it's there, and then crush the crap out of the Napoleon's head. So because this Carmen Ghia of yours, um, never had them, because <laughs> I've never seen the car together. But that's really unnecessary, whoever's being lazy and hitting the horn versus going up and ringing the doorbell. But anyway, these are necessary because I've never seen these on your car, so if they're not there, you're gonna need them, so now we've got a set of them. Okay, now, now comes the really big fun stuff. We got a couple of really large boxes. Which one would you like to open first? Uh, the one on top. Are you a top, are you? Depends. Is there depends involved in your top? No. <laughs> that one's got a little bit of mass to it. Same. It's also got a little bit of dirt on it. Same. <laughs> it looks like it's two boxes grafted together. It might even be a rip cord. I don't know. When you cut like that, to be sure that you don't get in there. Turn it 90 degrees like this. And just split the tape. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that way... That's what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, that way I won't dig into it and you won't slice what's on the inside of the box. They are two boxes. I formerly had a business partner that when we had computers shipped in, he would stab it with a knife and cut right through Can it. You and cut that side? The front of the computer cases would just be gouged really badly. Okay, that's really interesting. I wonder if they saved on the uh, shipping deal. And that's that uh, stapled, so let's... Stapler! Mmm! Let's go! Oh, mama, that's heavy. Mm, that's a stapler. It's a whole lot lighter now that it's two boxes. Okay. Mmm. Looks like you need a knife again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pervert the pervert? Yeah, some kind of pervert. That's his name. From Family I know. Guy. Oh, that's trademarked, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Some kind of pervert. Some kind of pervert. Mmm! Mmm! Jesus Christ Almighty. Oh, good news is, is I like boxes. I bet you do. And I'm not the same kind of perv. <laughs> you're, a, you're a special breed of perv. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Smell that box. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's stapled on this side too. Are you trying to cut staples? You no, cut there's a staple. a staple right there. You can't cut a staple. No, you can't. Stapled. <laughs> Actually, Ow. looks like it got a little damp. You might as well put it aside. Yeah. It's to easier cut, to bust open the box. Cut the tapes. Easier to bust it open when it's damp. There, you can just slice it. Use the serrated part even better. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, tear it up, bro. Tear that box. Tear up that box. Tear, tear up that box. Tear up that box like a first date. Oh no. What? Oh, what? Not on the first date. What? Yes. <laughs> There's brake lines included in there too. Sweet. Those we're not going to use though. We're going to use the braided ones. These are still good. I didn't even know they were in the box, but uh, how about that? 
So what is it that you're finding here? Cancer and reproductive harm. Oh, that's what we needed. <laughs> this looks like a uh, bearing and seal kit as well as bolt kit. Um, this is I see cool. spindle nuts in here. So what you're looking at in this box is gonna be your front brake kit. Ooh. <clears throat> like you got some spindles in there. Mm -hmm. Which also I didn't realize was part of that kit. Well, how about that? The difference in price was so slight over what we were originally going to do, and uh, we're going to get into that in just a moment here. Discuss that. Another spindle. Mm-hmm. A left and a right spindle. What howdy? Look at this. Mmm. <laughs> of course, they're protected with a Chinese finger trap on there. Keeps these things from getting banged up because those are your bearing surfaces. What'd you find in there? I don't know. Looks like you found a caliper with brake shoes that fell out of it. Or pads, actually. Can't call them shoes. Somebody's gonna correct me. Oh god. You know what YouTubers do once you get online, you say the wrong thing. Oh, you mean it's like <laughs> being a woman on the internet? That's like being anybody on YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a caliper. Check that out. Brand new. Same thing. Another caliper. Times two. Excellent. All right. Take all this here, mm -hmm. and well, I guess you put that box back down. You probably want to bring that back up, and we're gonna stick everything back into it. It's nice that this separated into two boxes, though, because uh, these were heavy and unmanageable. Sort of like the weight of my sins. <laughs> what? Sorry, mom. <laughs> There's tissue paper right there. Oh wow! You can blow our noses. Yay! That's what I needed for Christmas. Yeah. Last Christmas, I had a runny nose. Last Christmas, I gave you my fart. You blew me away. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, ow. And she shredded it. Shred that. Disc brake kit installed instructions. Please oh, read first. Stay. Okay, we'll make sure you keep that in the safe spot. We're going to need it. Not that I haven't done this a hundred times before, but it's always good to have them. It is sure. good to have instructions. Yep. I would probably read them because I have never done it. In that box is good. That's a heavy beast in there. Mm -hmm. You know what that is, right? Disc brake. Well, it's your rotor. Rotor. <laughs> Slide it right out of there. Use both hands. There you go. Look at that. Now, those of you that are looking can't tell, but it is a five lugged 5x205 five rotor that's on here and you might be saying hey why did you do that I thought this is an older gear or rather a newer gear that uses a 4x130 lug pattern and the reason why was because some of the stuff we couldn't find in inventory at the same time so we ended up ordering earlier stuff on purpose as a conversion kit so we could put earlier wheels and the domed hubcaps onto your Carmen gear which is just a better look. I mean, I always like the earlier ones, plus five bolts is always stronger than four, so for whatever it's worth, you get a little more strength out of it. And another one. This is gonna be exactly the same part in there. Let's just stick this one right down in there. And these are your front rotors, which means we're probably expecting another set of brakes in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Pop. Throw this in there, too. I'm gonna lose El Manuel. Plopska. All right, now we got the big one. This is heavy, but not as heavy as I would have expected it to have been. <laughs> oh, that's concerning. It's good. Okay. It came, it came off a bit. Oh, okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Tastes like hot peppers. Stand out of the way because you guys have seen B with sharp metal objects in my face before. <laughs> hey. Stuck to my hair. Mm hmm. What do you got in there? I think we're missing something. I think you're correct. Hmm. Maybe we're expecting one more box. This kit is packed in two boxes. 
Okay, there's two boxes. Box two of two, box one. I think we're missing something. I have to check the order form and find out what happened. Okay, well let's let out what's in here because I expected there to be bigger boxes I had told you. So I've got to see if I screwed up or if somebody shipping made a mistake. Slide them out of there. You should be able to rock that. That's so not. Yo, Rocky. Uh, hold on. Let's see what's <laughs> Clunk. Slice. Alright. Uh. All these staples. So many staples. I'm helping you here, see? Look at that. You, you don't need open. a knife to open staples, you just, no, need, just need a duck, duck man. man. <laughs> What's that? Stuff. What kind of stuff is this? Is this for my e brief? Yeah. You nailed it right on the first try. Woo. You didn't even know what it was and you knew what it was. That's great. I'm not really good at nailing on the first try, but this oh is my. great. Oh my. Those are the e brake cables. We're going to need a new set for there. I don't think there was ever any on that car either because whoever had it started disassembling stuff because remember that was a. Uh, that was a result of a divorce, where literally they split up the car 50-50, so... There was a e-brake cable. There was one? One. Just one. One. <laughs> one e -brake remember, because when we were futzing with it, you're like, oh yeah, that's the e-brake cable. Okay. No, I don't remember, but because we're putting a disc brakes on the rear, we just gave away the secret is what's in the box. Ooh. It's actually special cables for it, and that's what these are. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else we got in there. Installation instructions for rear disc brake kit. <laughs> Oh my god, that's made in India. Really? That side says made in Brazil. It's all made in India somewhere. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what I saw, but hey, there it is. <laughs> well, this is the correct part. That's good. Yay. Here we go. Great. Five lug. Rear. Here it is. Woo! There you go. And all the splines on the inside to slide over the rear axle. This is a, this is a nice setup. Really nice setup. You're going to really enjoy this car. I'm really excited. Yeah, this is a, this is going to be a great series of videos. You guys get to watch us upgrading the brake kit on there. And as you probably know, I always put like disc brakes on everything first before I ever put a car on the road. That's just that's one of my things here on the, uh, the Duckman Cycles VW Garage channel is every car gets proper brakes before it's ever driven, and you Safety can't go first. wrong with well, you can't go wrong with this. You just can't. Yeah. It's just a necessary upgrade. Yeah, you can put the drums back on, but I just don't feel that they are as uh, safe or as simple. They just require a lot more maintenance, and I hate getting under there and adjusting the damn things every every few thousand miles. It's a pain in the ass. It's dirty, and I'm a big guy, and it's not easy to do. What you got here? I think this is more Looks of like the same. More of the same? How more many wheels do we have? It says brake kit. Whoa. This is the rest of the... Whoa! Whoa! You got it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's made in Brasildia. Brasildia? Brasildia. <laughs> sounds like a weird name. Oh no! My nuts drop. Hi. You got that? <laughs> this is the uh, axle spacer. I actually still have the set from the first set of disc brakes I ever bought. I didn't need them on, on, uh, <laughs> on, uh, what car did those get those brakes? Oh, they went on to, uh, Ruby. They actually went on to Ruby. I had those disc brakes for 24 years, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Looks like you found your brake pads. That's there you go. See? Every girl needs a good set of pads. I use tampons. What's that? This is a caliper mounting bracket. That's a nice cast one. Really nice. Good solid piece. Not one of them cheap sheet metal ones. The Front sheet metal brakes. ones you can actually bend and I don't think bending brake parts is a good idea. There's another one. You want bendy brake parts? I do not. Nope. <laughs> and a nut and seal set. Another box. Dun dun dun. Two more boxes. Oh, two more boxes. Dun dun dun. Move this out. It looks like in there is your rear caliper. Oh, they don't color match the front one. Bummer. Oh, 
know. <laughs> they usually don't. We're not really gonna see it. That's a very, very gold yellow color. Usually they're more greenish yellow. And uh, yeah. no, you won't see it in your case. You can put the smoothie wheels on for you. Mm -hmm. So there it is, and it's got the uh, the e-brake apparatus right there. Awesome. Nice set of brakes, that's for sure. Mm. These are uh, going to go on here real nicely. Put these back in this box. Ah, uh, yeah, we can put them back in there. Or... There. Okay. <clears throat> little stuff. I want to put in our little stuff package someplace so that it's, it's safe. Uh, which is over here. The bag is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the stuff we don't want to lose. But while we're packing that back up so that we don't lose it, we would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Coming to you from Duckman Cycles VW Garage, we got B right here. Happy we're Holidays! A great time opening up these gifts that we got here from CIP1. Uh, things are just, just getting better at the end of this year is really tough year for everybody as you probably know and for for some people like me it's just it's been so much loss but things are getting better things are getting better and i see the light at the end of the tunnel and uh, we're going to keep on pushing through we got bees karma gear to work on it's what all this stuff is for we're going to see some more of that coming up in the very very near future like the next several weeks we're going to start doing some big service work on this thing and uh, we're still expecting some more boxes and packages to be coming in for this just the same so watch for them and uh anything else you'd like to add or any interject there no you think you're good i think we're good that's it everything's looking up everything's looking up we're good well thanks again for watching everybody don't forget to licky likey comment subscribe pluck that dingle belly that way you get updates every time i upload a video check out duckshit.net for all different social media links and again special thanks to cip1 you can see the banner right up there inside of gregory yeah it's a little dark but i'll lighten it up in the video <laughs> and uh thanks again you guys merry christmas Wish you a Merry Christmas. Police riding by. Oh. Police riding. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. You ready to do this? Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah. pull the hoagies up. Okay. Let's see some pink. Yeah. Well, pink doesn't match red anyway. <laughs> you know, it's the difference between pink and purple, right? The grip. Depends on how hard you squeeze. Yeah, <laughs> it's all about the grip. <laughs>